We found a large category of questions that lead ChatGPT and GPT-4 to hallucinate so badly to the point where they say things that they know are incorrect. Let me show you an example. So we're going to ask GPT-4 here, is 3,821 a prime number? And it is a prime number, but as you can see, GPT says that it's not, and it says that it can be factored into 43 times 89. And so it is a prime number, so this is a hallucination, but this factorization, this wrong explanation here, we call that a snowball hallucination because that's a statement that the language model actually knows is incorrect. And I can show you that by just copy pasting this arithmetic problem and asking it what 43 times 89 is. And when we show it that in isolation, it answers correctly and it knows that it's 3,827, not 3,821 as it said before. So we call that a snowball hallucination. And as I said, it's, um, it happens pretty frequently to both of these models. So now we're gonna take ChatGPT here. We're gonna ask it a totally different question. Was there ever a US Senator that represented the state of Minnesota and whose alma mater was Princeton? And it's going to say that there was uh, a Senator who uh, fulfills both of these constraints and that uh, his name is David Dernberger, that he graduated in 1955. And that's incorrect. And again, the model knows that it's incorrect. And I can show this to you um, by just asking it, um, did Senator, um, David go to Princeton and it's going to say no, and it's going to uh, correctly list the universities that he actually graduated from. And so again, that was a snowball hallucination. Um, we show that this happens quite frequently, and we think that this is a major hurdle into deploying language models into uh, real world production environments. We show that chain of thought somewhat helps with this um, issue but has its own problems. And so we're really excited to see how the community solves this issue going forward.